Hello friends. Hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel SR HVAC. In today's video, we will be dive into VRF air conditioning systems to give you all the essential information you need to know. From how VRF systems work to their benefits and key features. This guide will help you understand everything about VRF air conditioning technology. Whether you are a homeowner, business owner or HVAC professional, this video will provide valuable insights into VRF air conditioning systems. Watch now to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips and tutorials. We are committed to helping you achieve your goals. Contents 1. Introduction to VRV and VFR system 2. How VRV and VRF system works 3. Types of VRV and VRF system 4. Wolf slash VRF advantages Let's start with the number 1. Introduction to VRV and VRF system Variable refrigerant volume, also known as variable refrigerant flow, are two different terms for the same technology. Because VRV is a trademark of Dakin Industries Limited, all other companies that use this technology refer to it as a VRF system. VRV is an HVAC technology invented by Dakin Industries Limited in 1982. It is also called as multi-spirit type air condition because with one outdoor, you can use multiple indoor unit. In this technology, cooling slash heating is adjust by adjusting refrigeration flow and which is achieved by changing compressor speed. Number of VRV and VRV user are gone up in recent years due to its advantages like less energy consumption, take very less space, etc. Friends next point in VRV AC system is 2. How VRV and VRF system works. A variable refrigerant volume, VRV system, also known as variable refrigerant flow, VRF system, is a type of HVAC system that provides individual control of the air conditioning in different zones or rooms. The main components of a VRV system typically include 1. Outdoor unit. The outdoor unit houses the compressor, condenser coil, and other components that are responsible for heat exchange with the outdoor air. The compressor adjusts the refrigerant flow rate based on the cooling or heating requirements of the indoor units. 2. Indoor units Indoor units are installed in each zone or room to provide cooling or heating as needed. These units are connected to the outdoor unit through refrigerant lines and can be controlled individually to maintain the desired temperature in each space. 3. Refrigerant piping Refrigerant piping connects the outdoor unit to the indoor units and allows the flow of refrigerant between them. The piping system is designed to distribute the refrigerant efficiently and maintain the desired temperature levels in each zone. 4. Control system The control system of a VRV system includes sensors, controllers and communication devices that monitor and regulate the operation of the system. The control system allows for individual control of each indoor unit, temperature settings, scheduling, and energy management. 5. Expansion valves. Expansion valves are used in the indoor units to regulate the flow of refrigerant and control the cooling or heating capacity of the system. The expansion valves adjust the refrigerant flow based on the demand from the indoor units to maintain the desired temperature levels. 6. Filters and fans. Filters and fans are essential components of the indoor units that help circulate the air, remove impurities, and maintain indoor air quality. Filters trap dust, pollen, and other particles, while fans distribute the conditioned air throughout the space. Overall, the main components of a VRV system work together to provide efficient and customizable cooling and heating solutions for different zones or rooms within a building. The system's flexibility, energy efficiency, and individual control capabilities make it a popular choice for commercial and residential applications. Friends, next point in VRV slash VRF working is accumulator. An accumulator in an air conditioning system is a component that is part of the refrigerant cycle and serves several important functions. 
the accumulator is typically located between the evaporator coil and the compressor in the system. One of the primary functions of the accumulator is to remove any moisture or liquid refrigerant that may have accumulated in the system. The accumulator acts as a temporary storage tank for excess refrigerant. During low load conditions or when the system is operating at lower temperatures, the accumulator stores any excess refrigerant to prevent it from entering the compressor. The accumulator helps separate any liquid refrigerant from the vapor refrigerant before it enters the compressor. Friends next point in Dakin VRVAC is scroll compressor. A scroll compressor is a type of compressor commonly used in air conditioning systems due to its efficiency, reliability, and quiet operation. A scroll compressor consists of two spiral shaped scrolls, one fixed and one orbiting. The fixed scroll remains stationary while the orbiting scroll moves in a circular motion. As the orbiting scroll moves, it creates a series of gas pockets that gradually decrease in size, compressing the refrigerant gas. Scroll compressors are known for their high efficiency levels due to the continuous compression process and minimal internal leakage. Friends, next point in VRV slash VRF working is types of VRV systems. 1. Cooling only system. 2. Heat pump systems. 3. Heat recovery system. A cooling only system is a type of HVAC system that is designed specifically for providing cooling comfort without the ability to provide heating. These systems are ideal for buildings or spaces where cooling is the primary requirement, such as in hot climates or in areas where heating is not necessary. Heat pump VRV systems are capable of providing both heating and cooling functions using the same equipment. This type of system is versatile and energy efficient making it suitable for a wide range of applications. Heat recovery VRV systems have the ability to recover waste heat from one zone and redistribute it to another zone that requires heating. This simultaneous heating and cooling capability enhances energy efficiency and comfort levels in the building. Friends, next point in what is VRV slash VRF air conditioning is VRV and VRF advantages. VRV variable refrigerant volume and VRF variable refrigerant flow systems are advanced HVAC technologies that offer several key benefits for commercial and residential buildings. Some of the key benefits include 1. Energy efficiency. VRV and VRF systems are highly energy efficient as they can adjust the refrigerant flow based on the heating or cooling requirements of different zones within a building. This results in lower energy consumption and reduced utility costs. 2. Individual Zone Control These systems allow for individual control of temperature settings in different zones or rooms, providing personalized comfort for occupants. This zoning capability helps optimize energy usage and enhances overall comfort levels. 3. Quiet Operation VRV and VRF systems are known for their quiet operation, making them ideal for environments where noise levels need to be kept to a minimum, such as offices, hotels, and residential spaces. 4. Space-saving design. These systems have a compact design and require minimal installation space compared to traditional HVAC systems. This can be particularly advantageous for buildings with limited space or where aesthetics are important. 5. Advanced Control Features These systems often come equipped with advanced control features, such as remote monitoring and control capabilities, scheduling options, and integration with building automation systems. This allows for efficient operation and maintenance of the HVAC system. Friends, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.